三、二、一，点火，点火。If a space launch is like a grand performance, Chinese aerospace engineers have performed 39 such performances in 2020. Among them, 35 succeeded, four failed. As a correspondent covering many space missions, this year I got the chance to report on two of the most anticipated missions: China's Tianwen-1 Mars exploration mission and Chang'e 5 lunar sample collection mission. It was quite a spectacle witnessing such historical moments in person. After talking with many project scientists and engineers, three key words about China's space program truly impressed me: collaboration, application, and talent. When the Chang'e 5 return capsule, along with its precious cargo, touched down on December the 17th, China became the first country to collect lunar samples in 44 years. Chinese authorities said the project was the result of domestic and global collaboration efforts. 深度的研究，而且呢，我们一定是国际合作。这一点呢，是毫无疑问的，跟全球的优秀的科学家和科研机构开展跨国合作。China successfully launched its first Mars probe, Tianwen-1, this July, with tens of thousands of engineers opening a new chapter in the country's interplanetary path of discovery. 六年以来，咱们共同维持奋斗，取得了这么很好的结果。这个为我们工程最终的环绕着陆打下了坚实的基础。The Mars probe is still on the way to the Red Planet, and there are 13 different payloads on board. Many global space agencies and organizations have also played a part in China's Mars mission. China offers great opportunity, and we offer them some expertise in niche domains or. In other fields, and it's it's very much complementary. So we are very very much satisfied. The more powerful the carrier rocket is, the deeper it can explore space. After launching China's Mars and lunar probes this year, this Long March 5 will be a major asset to China's future journeys into space. From navigation to communication and Earth observation, space-related tech has fit like a puzzle piece into our daily lives. This drone, China has successfully launched the last constellation of its Beidou navigation satellite system. People in over 120 countries and regions are now using the world's newest global navigation satellite system. On December the 6th, when the Gofen 14 satellite was launched, the Chinese space program finished its Gofen satellite series network. These high-resolution Earth observation satellites will help to generate 3D topographic maps and other digital data. And the young and talented engineers behind all these projects have also become a valuable asset. This commanding center has witnessed many historical launches and missions. Many senior scientists say it is through these space projects that younger scientists and engineers can be cultivated. Among China's space projects, the average age of many teams is said to be around 30 years. This November, a 24-year-old female launch commander has gone viral on the social media. She has become the youngest commander at the Wenchang spacecraft launch site. 当火箭升空的一瞬间，然后你就会感觉到，你干的这个事业就是无比的自豪。我觉得有，嗯，越来越多的，呃，女生能够投入航天事业，然后我觉得这是一件非常好的事情。In 2021, China will start constructing its own space station. Several space station missions and manned missions will be conducted in the coming years. And engineers involved will continue to pursue their dreams, exploring the universe with passion and curiosity.